Hi everyone, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a week of meal planning. It's been a while and I needed to get back into the routine. So here goes. On Sunday, we're going to have Cobb salad. We have a bed of lettuce, hard boiled eggs, crumbled blue cheese, crumbled bacon, sliced green onions, tomatoes, avocado, and some grilled chicken. We're gonna serve this family style. I'm gonna get my plate plated up and I'll show you what it looks like. I went ahead and topped mine with some blue cheese dressing and then just kind of drizzled some balsamic vinegar around the sides. Monday, we're gonna have Sonoran style hot dogs. And usually they're made on Bolero rolls. And normally I add pinto beans. I was out of pinto beans, so I didn't add them this week but um, it still was a very delicious meal. I'm gonna make some pico de gallo. I have six Roma tomatoes. I'm gonna use half this onion. I have a couple cloves of garlic, lime, jalapeno, a handful of cilantro, and I'm gonna add a couple of avocados to this. I'm seasoning with some salt to taste. Give it a big stir. And that's gonna be our topping for our Sonora style hot dogs. I took a piece of bacon and wrapped it around a hot dog and then secured it with toothpicks. We're gonna to cook these on the grill. Let's get this put together. I believe traditionally they use a bolillo roll, but I can't find that at my grocery store. So I'm using a hot dog bun and I'm just putting a thin layer of mayonnaise the hot dog with the cooked bacon, a little sprinkle of cheese, some of that pico de gallo, delish. Uh oh, it's getting away from me. And finally, just a little bit of Mexican crema, or you could put sour cream with a little bit of lime in a uh, bottle like this. And that is our Sonora style hot dog. Tuesday, we had been working in the yard all day long. So I made a charcuterie board with just a bunch of vegetables and some meat and cheese. And I made a uh, homemade hummus. I'll put the recipe for that in the description box. For dinner tonight, we're having um, some fresh veggies, some Krogan bologna that I had in the freezer that my brother brought, some New York sharp cheese, and then I just made some homemade hummus. We're just gonna pick at it, and that's what we're having for dinner. Wednesday, Ken grilled some steaks, and I had got some sirloin steaks on sale a while back, and I used the Bourbon Street Steak copycat from Applebee's. And then they also have like a glaze you put on when you start grilling them. So good. I'll put the recipe for those in the description box. I caramelized some onions and mushrooms and brandied the mushrooms. I have a video how to do that. We had baked potatoes and a nice salad. It was a wonderful dinner. A simple salad. We have potatoes in the oven. So we have a potato station here. We got potatoes in the oven. We're caramelizing some onions, and I have, I also made some brandied uh, mushrooms to put on top of the steaks. Ken has the sirloin barbecue bourbon street steaks, and it was so handy because I had, when um, sirloin was on sale, I put that 
um, what's the restaurant that has this? Um, Applebee's? Applebee's. Applebee's. Yeah. Uh, it's a copycat recipe for the marinade. Just pulled it out of the freezer and put it in some water for just real quick. And then Ken put them on the grill. And then I made that bourbon uh, basting sauce to go on it. I'll put the recipe in the description box. Thursday, we had old-fashioned meatloaf. I have a recipe on how to make this, and I'll link that in the description box. Tonight for dinner, we're having meatloaf, green beans, and potatoes that we put oil and salt and pepper and cooked them in the oven and roasted them. Friday, we were celebrating my son's, uh, I, I want to say graduation, but they didn't have the ceremony, so I don't know what you call it. But um, he graduated with a double degree, a bachelor's in computer programming and cybersecurity. He had a 4.0, cum laude, valid Victorian. And with this COVID, they didn't have a ceremony. I don't know if they're gonna have it at a future date, if he'll have a commencement ceremony. Um, but anyway, our family uh, celebrated and we made some drunken clams. I made garlic bread with homemade garlic butter. I'll show you how to make that. And a simple caprese salad. And we just put all the clams in the center of the kitchen uh, and everybody kind of sat around and we just ate and laughed and it was really a good time. Tonight we're making uh, some drunken clams. We have these gorgeous little neck clams. I'm just washing them in cold water to get all the sand off and just uh, making sure that none of them are open. Like for example, this one was open, you don't want that. In my pot, I have a couple of tablespoons, probably three tablespoons of olive oil and about three tablespoons of a garlic compound butter. I have 12 cloves of garlic and we're adding three shallots, finely minced. We just cooked the shallots and garlic for about a minute. Now we're going in with all of those uh, little neck clams. We decided we wanted them a little spicy, so we added a jalapeno as well. I didn't show you guys that, but we did. Totally optional. You could also add a little bit of red pepper flakes if you have some of that. Okay, now we're gonna add about half a bottle of a white wine. We're gonna put the top on this and steam these clams. I have them on medium high heat. I'm gonna bring them up to a boil and then steam them until all the clams open up. Probably like 15, 20 minutes. Here is the big bowl of the steamed drunken clams. And I made some garlic bread too to go with it. I also made a caprese salad and put a little bit of uh, finishing olive oil and balsamic vinegar on it. Looks delish. I just washed the flat leaf parsley and the little bit of chives that I harvested. And I'm gonna make a compound garlic butter using these herbs. I'm making some compound garlic butter. In my bowl, I have one pound of softened butter. And then I'm gonna add some seasonings. I have a total of eight cloves of garlic, finely minced, two teaspoons of kosher salt, the zest of one lemon, two tablespoons of fresh minced parsley, two teaspoons of fresh minced chives, uh, about a fourth a teaspoon of dried Italian seasoning, and then I'm gonna get this all mixed together. This is what the butter looks like after it's mixed together. I put half of the compound butter on a piece of plastic wrap, and I'm just gonna wrap it up. And if you hold the ends and then just kind of twirl the package on the counter, it tightens it up. It forms a nice compact log. And then I'm gonna set that in the refrigerator to get firmed up. On Saturday, I made chicken curry with a little help from Trader Joe's and served it with steamed rice. Tonight for dinner, we're making chicken curry. Tonight for dinner, I'm making some Chicken curry, I call it curry in a hurry. I have about a half of an onion, a jalapeno, a couple cloves of garlic, and some fresh ginger, uh, juice of a lime, and then I have some coconut cream, and then I have the Trader Joe's red curry sauce, love this. 
and some of this Thai red curry paste. I have a tablespoon of oil in my pan and I'm cooking the onion, garlic, ginger, and jalapeno. I seasoned with salt and pepper. I wanna cook this for a few minutes. After the onions and um, pepper get soft, I cut up four small chicken breast cutlets into uh, bite-sized pieces and I'm gonna cook the chicken. I added about Three, half five, of four. the curry paste and then now I'm just gonna add the curry sauce and the coconut milk and let that heat through. I'm gonna bring the sauce to a simmer and simmer it while I make some white rice. To plate it, uh, I'm just serving it with some white rice and just pour the sauce right over it. To finish plating it, I'm just gonna sprinkle some fresh cilantro on top and then take one of these uh, lime wedges and squirt some fresh lime juice on it. And that's what we're having to, for dinner, chicken curry in a hurry. Well, that was our meal plan for the week. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Happy meal planning. And until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>